Let's turn to the consumer's product space right now in the highly competitive market for high quality headphones. Bose, of course, is at the center of that, just announcing the next generation of its popular noise canceling headphones and earbuds. The top models feature a new immersive audio technology that Bose developed to compete with spatial audio from other brands. Joining us right now, I'm pleased to say, is the CEO of Bose, Lila Snyder. Great to have you here uh, in the Hi. studio. Thanks uh, for having me. Absolutely. I think we're all familiar with your brands. Vani was just crowing about her noise canceling <laughs> headphones. But what what I'm interested is this new technology that is in this because we've I feel like we've gone from a different iteration of noise canceling I mean I know spatial audio has become a thing yeah. explain what the technology you're using now in the headphones yeah so quiet comfort headphones will give you everything you expect right amazing noise cancellation great quality audio the new feature is immersive audio and think of it as taking the sound from being inside your head usually when you're listening to headphones you feel like that music is right inside mm -hmm. and bringing it out in front of you so that you feel like you're listening to two amazing speakers and you're sitting right in that sweet spot really creates a spaciousness uh, that I personally love. Uh, I am curious about just the competition in this space. I mean, for a while, Bose was kind of synonymous with, you know, high quality audio. Uh, that was partly because of your innovation, but also because there weren't a whole lot of other players. I mean, you had some really high end players out there like Harman Kardon and a few others. But now I feel like everybody's trying to get into this space here. How do you handle that? I think what's so unique about Bose is we are focused only on audio. So for us, audio experiences is what we're obsessing about every day and our customers are music lovers and our employees are music lovers and so I think what makes us truly distinctive is we're focused on innovation to make those music lovers have the best possible experience with their headphones. You're literally a PhD in mechanical engineering from MIT. I am. And you worked at Pitney Bowes before this was which is all about supply chains and getting things to places they need to be. How are you now at Bose thinking about China and this deep coupling this deglobalization and what's happening there because you have factories there too. So I think everyone through the pandemic and what followed in terms of global supply chains is really thinking about agility and resiliency in their supply chain and we're no different. We're thinking about how do we make sure that we can consistently get our great products in the hands of our customers. But are there problems out there still though? So far, not really, right? We feel like the, the supply, the commodities have eased, freight is eased, so we're finding it uh, a much more amenable supply chain now than what we had before. There are still some issues in spaces, but it's improved dramatically, and I think our ability to handle those uh, tiny shocks when we have them has increased dramatically. I, I am curious about, I, I understand that there's probably a customer that, that gravitates to Bose that is probably maybe a little bit more immune to economic conditions, but at the same time, I'm sure you have to be kind of tuned in to what's going on with the consumer, what their capacity is to spend here. What does the economic landscape look like to you? We see sales are still really strong this mm -hmm. year. We, it's continued throughout the year. We're growing. Uh, we see strength going into the holiday. And this is really a category that's a passion point for consumers. And they're willing to, they don't want to compromise when they think about premium audio. If, if yeah. they really love music, they want to make sure they're experiencing that in the best possible way. And we see the consumer really showing up very strongly in our categories. I, I am curious about just your tenure. Yeah, I think you've been at the helm for a couple of years now here? Three years, yeah. Uh, three years, excuse me, at Bose. But one of the early things that you did, uh, you established a marketing officer position, which was new to Bose That's at right. the time. Yeah. And I remember reading about him and um, I, I guess some of the challenges that he would have to take Bose from its former corporate culture to what it is now. Mm -hmm. How much has changed with regards to the outreach to the consumer and just the, 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 the veneer of marketing that you're using right now? What's great is the core hasn't changed, right? Really thinking about music and the joy that that brings to people. But what what you can see in our brand and the way we're positioning it today is we're really trying to connect more emotionally with our customer. Mm -hmm. We've always been known for great technology and innovation and that hasn't changed, mm -hmm. but we want to help people see how these products make them feel, right? The yeah. music is so um, important to memories and all of those special details in your life, music is usually there and helping our consumers make that emotional connection with those yeah. is really where we've been focused. What's your favorite music? <laughs> I love all music. I get that question a lot. Uh, one of the most Whoa. fun things to do is to try our products across genres. You can really see how uh, different genres bring different aspects of our products to life. Yes, so I like to test it. It's out there. You're a fan of country music. You're a fan <laughs> of some am. classic rock. It's all, I am. <laughs> it's all out there. Yeah. <laughs> Little Taylor Swift in your household too from what I... Taylor have. Swift. I think in everyone's household this summer, no? <laughs> I that think so. <laughs> well, our congratulations to Lila Snyder, CEO of Bose, just on being the CEO of Bose, but also the uh, Quiet Comfort Ultra Head phones get launched today. So thanks for joining us. Thank very you much. so much.